Today I'll be going over my Doc Martin collection and why I got them. I think I have eight, I'm not too sure, maybe nine, seven, but I wrote them all down on my notes app and uh, let's see. This is where it all got started, the 1460s, the made in England. This was my first pair of Doc Martens. The reason why I got this was I just wanted some Doc Martens, the 1460s, iconic. I feel like these are the first pair of Doc Martens that anybody should own. I just wanted something with a bang. I got the Made in England because it had some good reviews. A lot of people talk about them. It's like that. I won't say the iconic one, but everybody knows that Doc Martens are made in England or they were made in England before everything moved out or a lot of different things that happened to the company. But I just wanted something that I knew that was gonna last. And also all the reviews that I read online people are pointing me towards that direction since i've had it so far it's been good it's been over what two years since i've had these and uh i really like them they're a good stable piece to my collection they're like the bread and butter i can wear them with anything i usually don't wear doc martens with so um not socks but with shorts which is like unique because i do see other people wearing with shorts but i've never worn doc martens with shorts i feel like they're one of those type of shoes boots whatever you want to call them that just looks better with long pants the next pair of doc martens that i got was the 1461s smooth leather with the white stitching this one once i saw it on the website they just stuck out to me i just like how different they are and they go with anything they're black with the white stitching i mean they were so good i still like them they're like my go-to summer fall kind of shoes they go with anything literally i like the low cut and everything about them i really enjoy wearing them i've been noticing like the white is not as shiny as it once was so i might have to touch it up clean it a little bit but these are my go-to summer shoes like come on you can't go wrong with 1460s and 1461s literally they can cover out i think throughout the whole year you're good so yeah i love my 1461s the next pair i got was these chelsea boots the 2976 i believe that's the numbering and with these chelsea boots man i actually wanted something different i thought that the um the stitching were good but once i saw that they made chelsea boots without any stitching on it they're just different they just stuck out to me so i wanted them so much i bought them and as soon as it came i didn't even know that much about the crazy horse leather i just wanted something nice i knew brown goes with a lot of different things and when i got them literally the crazy horse leather is up there for me seriously i mean i talk a lot about them but they're i don't know i just like the character that it gives some people don't like it it gets scuffed up it looks weird and all of that different little things but for me i enjoy the character of the crazy horse leather like mm, they just look nice and then also my my chelsea boots sometimes some people don't know they think from an untrained eye it's like some type of cowboy boots or something like that but yeah i like them they're good year round probably the only thing that i had issue with is that elastic which till this day <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, they were pretty tight at first, but now they're loosened up, they're good. I don't have to worry about them. They're like my go-to if I want to look a little bit smart, a little bit like, oh my gosh, I, I kind of know a little bit about fashion or whatever. They're like that easy go-to, like, oh wow, you, you look, I don't know how to, what's that word? You look a little, I, I don't want to say intelligent, but you look a little bit, it gives that little bit of oomph to it every time I put them on. Next, I bought probably the docks that I wear the least. Literally, I don't know why I bought them. I just wanted a little dab of color, something different, something unique. I thought in my head during the time that I was buying them, my thought process was these are gonna be like my going out shoes, my um, just to look a little bit smarter because my 1461s, they were mainly like an everyday driver for the summertime or warm condition the fall and things like that but this one was going to be my go-to like looking nice pair of doc martens and they're the 39 89 
made in England. It's like this, I actually like the, the red on there. It looks nice. The stitching goes well with the red. Everything looks nice on it. But for some reason, I haven't put them on that much. Like maybe it's the color. I don't know what it is. I like the look of it, everything like that. But this upcoming summer, I'm trying to put these on more, trying to just wear them out and make them look good. I don't remember me even breaking them in. Like literally, I probably put them on less than five times. Like, yeah, they still look clean. They're good. And for some reason, I don't know why I got them. I need to wear them. Seriously. These boots were very special to me. I got them when I lived in North Dakota. Man, talk about the North Pole. Like it felt cold there every flipping day. Like black ice, snow, heavy winds. Imagine being in your vehicle and the wind is like swerving your car a little bit at a stop sign or a red light. Like uh, I got these just to prevent myself from falling, slipping or anything like that. I just wanted something that was good. I like the um, the insole, not the insole, the, it's insulated and they just look so nice but basic. Like these are my snow workhorses because I know January is coming and also January, February snow. So between those times, I'm going to really put these on. For some reason, I don't want to wear them when it's not snowing or like without the purpose of it. For example, if I just wear them out, will the rubber kind of eat away faster or I, I don't understand. I don't want to put them on just to wear them out in the street. And then whenever I do need them for like the winter time, they're not slip resistant anymore. If you understand what I mean, but these are basically my snowshoes for the winter time. Or if it gets so cold, like literally Christmas just passed and the week of Christmas, I thought like I wasn't going to make it. It's so cold outside, but this is insulated kept my foot warm and I like it because it's not like the furry installation because other ones are insulated and it's just fur and everything and I feel like those will make your feet stink and I don't want no stinky feet so yeah they're good and I only wear them whenever I, I need to the story behind these ones is very interesting so I went to the Doc Martin store trying to get another pair of Doc Martens. Uh, I was trying to try out some sandals just to make sure I could figure out my size. Usually what I do, go to the Doc Martin store, order them online and things like that so that I don't have any confusion because Doc Martens, no matter how good you are with sizing, they just will trick you for some reason. But with this one, the Terry Gloves, ooh, they were on sale and these were my first non-leather Doc Martens. And literally, as soon as I put them on, they probably went to like top five simply because number one i didn't have to break into them they're just comfortable from day one and also number two they're on sale there was what 60 50 dollars and i was like man this is a steal like literally when you get some boots or some shoes that are as comfortable as doc martens are because they got the airwear soles and all also they're like more of a bex kind of sole they're not like the original where it's pretty much no height to it. These ones are a little bit like chunky boot-esque and yeah, I just like them. Literally they're cheap or they're affordable and also they look good. I like the green olive colorway and yeah, they're more of my walking around shoes. I mean, not really, but around the summertime, if I just wanted to add an extra drop into things, a lot of people don't even know those are Doc Martens. They look different. They're unique and I really, really like them. I think those, I think the Terry Glows probably do hit like my top five favorite Doc Martens. Like literally, I, I like them that much for some reason. I got these the same day that I got my Terry Glows, but I ordered these online. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm a weird individual, but I went to the Doc Martens store to try on the sandals just to make sure I got the sizing right. And when I went, I chose my size. I ordered it online and waited what a week or two. They came and they fit perfectly. Literally, I'm not a sandal type of guy. I don't like my feet being out and everything. It's a new experience for me. I mean, I won't say I don't take care of my feet, but what I'm saying is I just don't like my feet out. Like I like to take care of myself. It's just 
my feet being out, I'm still getting used to it. Even if I have flip flops on, I usually have socks on and things like that. So with these sandals, I just wanted to try something different. The iced out sandal, they're good. They're like thick too. So, so far it's very comfortable. I wear it a couple times during the summertime. So I can't wait for summer to come back so that I can just put them on and yeah, they look nice. I don't know, they look uniquely nice. It's a weird configuration. I don't like Doc Martens barbaric sandals. No, I can't do that. But these ones, they're good. My most recent Doc Martens purchase is the Jadens. My all black vegan Jadens. I actually like these Jadens. I just wanted something different. I've never tried any vegan shoes before or anything like that. And so far, so good. I didn't have to break into them. I really enjoy them. I just went to the Doc Martin store, tried them out. I actually got a discount on this. I keep forgetting. So I didn't have to pay the 200 or 150 or whatever it is. I think I paid like 50, 60 ish. I, I use, um, what was it? Honey. So basically all the computers in my house or even like all the computers that my parents have. So anytime they make purchases, like I get some type of discount and then at the end of the year, imagine getting Black Friday discount on top of like all the discounts you get from Honey and things like that. So all of that, they add up. And uh, yeah, that's how I was able to get those Doc Martens. Thanks for watching. And also, what Doc Martens should I get? I'm thinking what, the 1914? I feel like just the name of those, they just put me off a little bit because it's a year and um i don't think it's my style it goes all the way up to my calf and stuff or even higher but i'm not used to something like that maybe i'm thinking about since summertime is around the corner maybe some summer vibes when it comes to doc martens i don't know and also maybe what about if i can get my hands on some collabs like literally i want to review some collabs but so far youtube hasn't been popping yet so slowly but surely we'll hit the point thanks for watching and uh yeah check out this video right here where i'm sure it's unique